Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin again, and welcome to this YouTube Oracle tutorial. This tutorial is um, an advanced Oracle tutorial telling you what to do, describing what to, the steps to take to recreate the du a special Oracle database table called Dual um, in the event that you drop it. So, that being the case, let's log into our database finance, our finance database, by first setting our Oracle SID system identifier to the name of our database that we want SQ, our SQL plus program to connect to, which is financed, F-I-N-A-N-C-E. We verify the value of the DOS Oracle SID variable and see that it's indeed set to finance, the name of our database. Now, we launch our SQL Plus program provided by Oracle, which is what we use to manage an Oracle database. And SQL Plus will automatically um, read the value of the Oracle underscore SID variable and use that value as the database to connect to. So SQL Plus slash SSDBA. And we do select name from the dollar sign database. And we see that we are indeed connected to the finance database. And if we do a show user command, we will see that we are connected as the sys user, which is the main administrator or DBA, database administrator, of the Oracle database. So, what is dual? Well, dual, D-U-A-L, is a special, or magic if you will, Oracle table. It comes with every Oracle database. When you run those scripts that we um, that when we run those scripts that create the or that, that you run when you create an Oracle database, an exercise we go over in another in another YouTube video, it creates the dual table for you. That's part of the procedure. So every Oracle database by default has a dual table. Now, what is a dual table? Well, let's let's employ the describe Oracle command against the dual table. So Oracle will describe it for us, the structure of the table. Now, that's what the, that's what the describe command does. Now, it has one column. The column is named the dummy, D-U-M-M-Y, and the type is variable character 2, 1. So we know that there is one column in the dual table, and it has one column, and, that, and the... And the um, data type for that column is var char 2 so let's see if there's any data in the dual table by using our sql select command and selecting all all the columns so the value of the dummy column from dual and it has one value x so we know that the dual table is a special table in the oracle database it contains one column dummy and it of of data type var car 2 and it can only have one character in the column and that's and the that one column is x i'm sorry that one row of data is x so you're probably asking well what does this table do well this table is nothing more but a table which just gives you a consistent result. It allows you to select nothing from a table. So what does that mean? Well, I'll show you. You could do select user from dual, and it will return sys. You could do select sysdate sys from dual, and it will give you the current date within the Oracle database. So as you can see, we're selecting from dual, even though we never inserted these values into the dual column the dual dummy column okay and it has different values every time we, we issue a command that's because the dummy the dummy column in the dual table is is nothing really it's just to show it's just a way to show one line of output and it's really hard to explain it's hard to articulate but as you as you work with the Oracle database and as you see in other YouTube videos and as you get familiar with code in SQL statements and and code in uh, PLSQL programs within an Oracle database you will see so right in Oracle programs 
you will see the use of the dual table and how imperative it is. All you have to know though is that, that it is in every Oracle database, it is very imperative, and it only has one column dummy, and it has one, um, that has one value, one row, X. So, let's go ahead now, and let's see what will happen if you drop the table dual. Oracle Database has a nasty habit where it has a lot of protections for your data, uh, your business data, your user data, your application data, whatever you want to call it. But it does, but if you have the right authority, SysDBA authority, like, like, like the Sys user who we're currently logged into the database as, it does not protect you from yourself. So you can do, it does from certain things, but you can really screw up an Oracle database. You should never, ever alter an object in, object being table, view, whatever, that is in the data dictionary of an Oracle database. Never, ever do that. Okay, let Oracle take care of that. If you do that directly, you can really call calls um, unpredictable results. So, I mean, um, unpredictable behavior. Sorry. So, let's go ahead and do just that. What I warned you not to do. So, do a drop table dual like so. Now, note since we're the since we're the SysDBA user, the highest authority in Oracle. Oracle let us drop that table, table drop. So now if we do a describe on dual, can't do it. If we do a select asterisk from dual, again, we get another or error message. If we do a select user from dual, like before, nothing. Select sysdate from dual. Nothing. Now, how do you recreate it? Well, can you recreate it? Yes, you can recreate it. You can recreate it with the following commands. You just type in create, because it's just a table, okay? Create table, this dual, column dummy, type varcar2. one character close then we do insert into sys dual values x so we're giving it that x value the dummy column the x value now we're committing our data now we do a grant select on sys dual to public with a grant option okay Basically, every user in Oracle database should have access to the dual table. Now, create public synonym dual for sys dual. Now, you get an error, an or error, saying name is already used by an existing object. That's okay. We just do that just to make sure, but that's all right. So now, if we do a describe dual, we have it back the same way, the same thing that said before, dummy varcar21, select from dual, we will see it has one value, x, we do select user from dual, sys, select sys state from dual, and that's good, and we should be able to Shut down our Oracle database. And bring it back up just fine. database open okay so we were able to restart our Oracle database just fine alright so now we know that our database is sane and our dual table from the accidental drop up here has been corrected so but let's say that you were to go ahead and let's do it again drop your dual table like so and you have the same symptoms as before 
And at this point, we didn't go ahead and we didn't catch ourselves immediately. We dropped it and we forgot about it. And then sometime in the future, we went ahead and shut down our Oracle database. And then we attempted to restart it. As you see, the database shutdown is successful. Now we try to restart our database. Now, in this in this hypothetical scenario, we forgot that we dropped. In the first scenario, we caught it immediately and fixed it. In the, in the second scenario that we're testing now, we dropped the table, forgot about it, and then months later, we we're restarting the database. There you go. Problem. It doesn't tell you exactly, but it says Oracle instance terminated, disconnected, forced. So, you got a problem. This tells us that the Oracle database needs the dual table in order to start up. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to recreate the table. But, the database needs to be open for you to recreate the table because you're issuing the create table command, which needs an open database to succeed. So, we need to get this database open somehow. And it doesn't matter how many times you do shut down the board because it's just... Ah, we gotta get back in that spell plus again. We're totally screwed up here. It doesn't matter how many times you try to start it, it's not gonna start up because something under the covers and part of the Oracle, the internal Oracle database startup routines is expecting the dual table to exist. But the dual table does not exist because we deleted it. So, that being the case. Um, I'm not going to go into details why, but or, but it was discovered what um, what feature of Oracle is actually looking for the dual table. So what you have to do is you have to disable it, and how we disable it is with the following option. Alter. We base while well, we type in the following. We abort our Oracle database. Well, first we gotta make it sing here. And we start up our Oracle database in mount mode. Remember, we can still mount our Oracle database. We didn't screw up our control file. Now There's a parameter called replication dependency tracking. In this instance, you need to set this parameter, replication dependency tracking, to false scope equals sp file. Go ahead and you shut down your Oracle database. And you restart your Oracle database. Now that we disabled this feature, which is expecting the dual table to be there, okay, the, the Oracle database should start up successfully, even though the dual it's still technically broken, even though the dual table is missing. Because we disabled the startup feature that requires it. 